Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're with Amira Salon from amirasalon.com. This is a general coffee cup reading done with the intention of meaning something to everyone who's watching this video. Sometimes there are world predictions in the cup as well that don't pertain specifically to you, but do uh, have a world impact or come up in the world prediction. And thank you also for your beautiful comments for my last month reading, the, the January reading for the coffee cup and some of these predictions of volcanoes erupting on islands like Papua New Guinea coming up, Bali coming up, places like that, they did come to pass. And I don't watch international news very often, so it's hard for me to find the international news from where I am right now. So thank you for your comments and um, let's see what's in the cup for February. Just getting in early, so um, that you know so things are nice and fresh for you you can have a forecast into this month and try to manifest some things and plan some things out if you'd like to book a session with me or one of my international psychic team members you can go to my website the links are here below and the website is very simply amirasalon.com mary is offering a giveaway at the moment for her animal or pet readings She's going to be offering this every month. There are a lot of people who have gone into this draw already. I would highly recommend booking a session with Mary if you don't win this prize or if you'd like to just book one anyway. Her readings are very affordable. They're only $30 and she reads your pet, either living or passed over pet or animal that you'd like to ask about. And she explains how she does it in the video for the giveaway. So check out the video here that was just uploaded and you'll see um, and also you'll see how uh, Mary does her readings um, for the animals or pets she is a pet communicator so that's exciting I'm really um, excited for for the person that's going to win because she's an amazing reader she really taps into those pets so let's have a look and see in the cup for the month of February 2018 what's coming up and this Sometimes the timing can be slightly out, so it can happen a little earlier, a little later. Sometimes people say the timing is out. I always start from the handle and go around in a uh, clockwise direction. I've also got a video on my coffee cup playlist of how to prepare a coffee cup for a reading, or I do them myself for people who um, book the video coffee cup reading option. So um, I do them for, with, done with the intention for that person. So let's have a look and see what's coming up here. Okay, there's two very big eyes down here that are kind of peering out or looking out. They look like goggles, which is going to apply to some people. It also looks like an owl, so there's wisdom. There's taking things in your stride is what I'm picking up through this cup. Taking things in your stride. Um, using your wisdom to move forward to choose the best avenue for you and what's going to be coming up at, in the way of options this year because as we move forward we've got a couple of options coming up and I also like it when you do um, interpret some of the cup as well because people do see different things in the cup and I can't often cover every tiny little symbol in the cup as well in the video reading. So there's two happenings going on there could be three offers, okay? And one of these offers is going to be very, very good, very, very strong, very, very upright. It's going to be something that you're really going to find has benefits, okay? So there's three different happenings, there's three different peaks here or lines. And I often see this as three different things coming up in, the, in this month, I would say, because it is for this month. So you could be looking um, at international opportunities because I'm feeling there's distance here as well. Or it could be in a different state, a different territory. It could be in a different um, country as well. I'm also picking up Canada in this cup too for some of you. Might be looking at Canada. Could be looking at something around mountains, a mountainous landscape. And even though I say that down here, I'm feeling there's also desert. So... It's coming to me, Dubai, um, you know, Dubai is coming in here as well as, you know, other parts of the Middle East, as well as Arizona is coming in also very strongly too. So 
this is a general, so some people are going to relate to some of those locations. Okay, so let's have a look and see what else is coming up. There's a very big area here to look at, so, okay. We've got a nice fish coming down, and fish always symbolise this, like this really nice fish with a very long tail, or it's like one fish and then it's got like squirrely sort of things behind it, and that often is um, money, fish's money. Um, it also comes to me as a tadpole too, and that can often be sperm. So some people might be getting pregnant or trying to get pregnant this month and the sperm is kind of going down. So I kind of feel like there could be, in, and it's planting itself. There's also a little head here that looks like a little baby sheep or a goat. So somebody could be born under the goat or the sheep um, in the Chinese astrology, or somebody could be a Capricorn or a young Capricorn because it looks like a young goat or sheep okay okay so this is a very interesting piece here that it's like a heart and this these hearts you know have come up quite a bit lately in some of my readings so you know hearts forming and this looks like this heart is really forming and taking shape and taking effect and it's looked like it's got a lot of bubbles on the top of it sort of like fun effervescent bubbles, celebrationary bubbles, um, bubble bath type of bubbles coming up here on top of this heart. So there's like a foam. So I hope nobody's foaming at the mouth. But um, there is something coming up with a heart that is very, very interesting and very special. So I feel like there's a lot of love energy this month. I feel like, like love is starting to show itself. Uh, there's something coming up for also for Valentine's, around Valentine's Day, for those of you who celebrate it, I do feel that there are going to be big, strong love interests, whether it's one way or both ways, there's a very big, strong love interest coming up here. Okay, and inside the top of this heart, this section here, looks to me like a dolphin's head, and it's trying, to, it's grabbing onto something, it's like catching something. So a dolphin to me is abundance and opportunity and serenity and, you know, anything, um, anything to do with fish or whales or dolphins, etc. Um, let me just double check that meaning, the dolphin. Okay. Symbol of protection and resurrection and rem reminding people to play and approach life with a sense of humour and fun and playing. Okay. Um, but in the cup, it's often very much a, um, I feel it's a, it's a symbol of prosperity because anything in the sea that is abundant and, 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 and fabulous is, is about prosperity. So the, it also represents inner strength, cooperation, playfulness, and joy, resurrection, protection, peace, and harmony. So that's beautiful. Some of you might be going somewhere where there are dolphins. This can also be catching a big win. So uh, this dolphin is coming out of the water and catching a big win. So I feel like it could be, you know, a big offer coming in, catching something spe special. So that kind of ties in with this offer here. It could be some of you might be winning money, coming into money, coming into some sort of um, catching somebody's heart, having a, an abundant sort of energy coming in around you. And I feel it's very, very lucky. There's a luckiness here with it. So there is a very, very strong luck. Above this uh, dolphin here coming out of the water, I am seeing a, a um, eagle. And eagles, is ve eagles are very much high, you know, energy, you know, spirit energy, um, timing victory, um, spiritual quest, um, owning the skies, um, authority, you know, coming into your own power as well, and the flow of power and owning the place that you are in. So it can be really sort of coming into your own element. Um, it also teaches us to conserve our energies as well and use our energies for the highest or greatest good and to choose how you use your energies wisely. 
um, and it also implies fast fast action. So if something comes up, you've got to act quickly on it. So if this opportunity pops up, you really have to swoop in and try to get something quickly because it might be there for a minute and disappear. And, you know, a lot of these things that come up do, you know, there's so many people going for different things that you really need to, if, you, if you're applying for something or putting your name down for something or trying to get a job or trying to get something, you really need to get in quick because often people, you know, they, they only look at the first few people that apply for something and then they close out and you know so you have to act very very quickly I feel so just be prepared and go in when um, go in quick and you know and take things you know from also a bird's eye perspective as well look at things from a higher perspective so this eagle is really on top of everything and really looking at things from a higher perspective Okay, there's a totem pole here as well. So that can be a totem animal, a totem pole thing happening. But it also reminds me of the statues on Easter Island. So I don't know what that means to somebody. Somebody might, you know, some people might be considering going to Easter Island, going on some sort of a cruise, um, having, you know, studied. Maybe they're studying. Uh, maybe you're studying something to do with Easter Island or something to do with the wildlife, wildlife there or the actual history so I'm not sure why that came up but it did okay it can also signify Easter considering it's Easter Island it could be that this love comes to full fruition around the Easter time even though it might start to show up in February it could come into full perspective at Easter time so that's in April I believe this year it's usually end of March or sometime in April. There looks like a woman here and she's, she's kind of fairly rotund. So she's quite curvy. She looks like she could be either curvy or full figured or she might be an older woman. And she looks like she's ready to jump off a cliff, but in a good way. She looks like she's having fun. So jumping into a swimming pool, jumping into the water, jumping into something jumping into, um, it reminds me of people who jump from, you know, the high rocks into water, into like um, nice deep water in the sea. So it looks like she's jumping into something. So energetically, I'm feeling like, you know, it could be symbolically of you or somebody else jumping into something quick, especially with the speed of the eagle. It could be jumping into a relationship quickly could be jumping into this opportunity quickly with the dolphin coming out of the water. Um, it could be jumping into something quickly by Easter, okay? On the side of her as well, very, very small here is a little rabbit coming out, okay? <laughs> so there's like a little rabbit's head coming out there. So that can also be like somebody jumping into a relationship, uh, procreating, so having a, you know, a lot of sex, um, could also be, you know, somebody getting pregnant because rabbits to me always mean pregnancy or, you know, abundance or, um, you know, a lot of multiples of things. So she could be trying to get pregnant, this woman, or she might be pregnant. Okay. Okay, and then moving along here, I'm seeing forests. So I don't know what these forests are, but they're definitely there. And it looks to me like, you know, something in Germany, something in Europe. It feels to me like it's something in the Black Forest, the, you know, Eastern Europe forests. Um, Bavaria around that area is coming to mind. Ger Germanic forest, forests in Germany. Feels like there's a lot of trees, very big trees. And there's kind of like a moon or a sun rising there as well. So there could be sort of like the moon and the sun are about cycles and also about optimism as well and waiting for the right time of things to happen. So you could be looking at some, someone or something that you want to pursue, start, follow, go to, create and 
the right time I feel will be coming up where this beautiful rich forest is giving you the blessings of a you know further abundance and prosperity it's like the wood is ready the trees are grown everything's sort of like ready to be reaped and um, or just observed as well you might not even want to reap anything you might just want to observe the situation for what it is but I feel like the message with that is timing is right Okay, up here I'm picking up a little head of a bull, so that can be something to do with Spain. It can be something to do with um, Taurus as well, somebody who was a Taurus. So that's, that's not giving me any further information. I'm not really getting anything from these things down here right now. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Okay, so what's, what is jumping out at me here? Okay, there is like a little pretty female baby or a girl or a, or a lady. Almost looks like she's decorated, so she might wear a lot of makeup. She might be involved. She looks like Betty Boo or something. She might be involved with, you know, specific dressing. You know, the way she dresses is a specific style. She looks like she's got lipstick on, dark coloured lipstick or bright lipstick. Under this Taurus and around this Taurus, there seems to be a lot going on with this person. Some of you are going to relate to this, not all of you. So there's maybe a little bit, This, if you are interested in a Taurus, there might be just too much going on in their life. There could be another woman in their life. There could be, um, you might hear from that person, there's birds here as well. You might hear from them. There could be just some sort of like chaos or juggling a lot of different things, okay? So that might not be specifically to about you, but it could be about somebody that you know or somebody that you might be interested in. Okay, that's a very unusual shape, this one. It looks almost like a, a large body with a head on it. That could be a dog, and it is the year of the dog this year with uh, the Chinese coming into the year of the dog on Chinese New Year. So it could be a loyal friend that's kind of coming back around to you. It could be because it's looking backwards. It could be somebody who's put on a lot of weight and they need to really address their weight issues. They're covered up for the cold. They could be sitting somewhere in the cold. It could also be looking after homeless dogs or dogs that are strays. It can also be looking after homeless people or some interaction with somebody who is homeless. It just looks like there's a bit of a forlorn type of energy here with this particular figure so somebody might come to you from the past who might be homeless they might be looking for a home could even be a puppy as well or you might want to do some volunteering and some something to do with that topic okay so we're back to where we started more or less um, I'm going to do a wish for everybody watching the video, so a wish for February moving forward um, with all the positive energy and uh, ascension that we can possibly you know, bring into our lives this month and from this month beyond and just see what comes up with that. So where am I going to do this? Okay, okay so all the, the best of blessings for everybody moving forward. Protection, energy, enlightenment, manifestation of all your dreams and wishes and desires. Okay, so let's see what's in there. If there's anything else in there that comes up. This looks to me like a man and it's kind of like his shoulder and the profile, he's got kind of like his back to you 
And But I feel like he's going to be turning around and opening up some energy, opening himself up to something. So it could be you or somebody around you. Also down here, this has kind of turned into a little bit of something that looks like a penguin. So penguins are very resourceful. They also like to stick together in groups. They're very social. So I feel like this is a time where if you are looking for love, because we're on top of the love heart, is if you are looking for love, it could be a, where you're going to meet that person is through a social element, a group element, going out with friends, going to groups, um, meeting people through groups and associations. So I hope you've enjoyed your reading for February with the coffee cup and lots of love and angel blessings moving forward. And thank you so much for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. Just a reminder to everybody, this is a multi-language channel. So take what you like and leave the rest. And I'm always looking for language speakers, Spanish, Italian, French and Russian. Okay, take care. Ciao for now.